story time a juicy story time about when my mother clocked well my mother's one night stand well she clocked she told her her one night stand that I was trans okay really weird and I just don't understand like why would you do your own daughter like that like I've been Mind you, I help pay your bills. I help do everything. And you want to sit here. And you want to sit here. And tell this man my tea. Like, who does that? Like, who sit there and, and sit there and just sit there and just say that stuff about your own daughter? Like, let's get into it. So, this is like a long time ago. Like, I say two years ago. When I came back from out of state. <clears throat> so, yeah. I came out of state. And I came back. My mom was. I don't know. She was out of there. She started inviting people over every day. Every week. Every weekend. She would invite people over. And it would be mostly men. Like, it would be men all the time at the house. Like, every day. It's like, oh, come pull up. And, da -da -da. and that is always. And that's why she probably had so much drama going on, girl. So, girl, like, she had, she was doing a lot of shit. Like, she was just not stable at this point. Like, she was just inviting people. Sometimes it'd be female. Sometimes, most of the time it'd be men. And it's just, like, girl, like, can you just humble yourself? So, girl, like, I think it was one time where she invited some dude, some random dude over and, um, they was in there talking, playing dominoes or whatever, you know, having a good time, I guess. So, they was up in there having a good time talking. And I was in a room out of my own business, talking to my man. Yes, my man. I was talking to my man. And, girl, we was talking. Well, I was on the phone talking. Mind my own business, doing me, you know. And then... My mama came in the room and told me, Jay, I'm going to need you to do something for me. And I'm just like, what you want me to do? Because I did not want to be bothered. Like, girl, I was about to go to sleep and everything. Like, I was on the phone with this man. I was on the phone with my man. About to go to fucking sleep, girl. Like, I was about to, I was just like, mind my own business. Another fucking reason why you should not bother somebody that don't bother you. But you had the nerve to come bother me. But she came in the room. Saying, Jay, can you go do something for me? Please. I just want to test this man. Test this man. What you mean by test this man? What you mean? Like, test it. What, what are you trying to test his sexuality? What? Like, because when she starts saying, test this man, I start going, I start thinking about a lot of shit. I start thinking about, oh, she talking about, oh. I start thinking like, oh, what she mean, test this man? What are you trying to do? Test how he how he look at people or what and I'm just like why like why do I need to she's like I'm gonna need you to go get cute and stuff like that girl my joy had my butt on I had no lashes on I had no makeup on like I had nothing on like pure face pure fucking face like this but without lashes and yeah so she wanted me to go get cute and, like, basically just be done up. And I'm just like, 
huh? Why? Because I, you come in here bothering me, and you want to use me for an example. Like, I don't understand. So, she wanted me to go get cute. So, I go get cute, or whatever. I put in my contacts, or whatever. Eyelashes, and everything. She was like, and, and the whole time I'm getting ready, she's like, I want to see if this man really, really, really into women or something like that. She was saying some stuff. She was saying stuff like that. And I'm just like, at this point, I just start, at this point, I was just like, really just, inside, I was just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, your own mama, your own mother is saying this shit. Your own mama is saying this shit, right? So... The dude, she was supposedly her one night stand girl, whatever you want to call it, girl. He's he's a light skin, and you know how most light skin niggas is they they considered to be fine or cute, or whatever you call them, like those type of light skin niggas. And girl, when he saw me, girl, he was like, "Hello, beautiful. This man probably hate women like me, and he could have killed me." He could have, he could have executed me. Like, girl, why? Like, how, how, how are you a mother and you, and you're outing your child to a stranger that you even barely fucking know? Like, what? Are you serious right now? Let's thing you know, the man was like, I don't care. And then my mom started getting mad, talking about something. What did I say? What did I say? And I'm just like... Girl, I just started side now. At this point, I started side eyeing her. So you're going to really say that about your own daughter. That's really helping you with your bills. That's helping you with the things that you want and need. But you want to sit here and out me. In front of a man that, that, that really barely even want to be with you. They only just want to bust a quick N-U-T and get the fuck out the house. Like... Girl, are you serious? Over oh, a one night stand, really? Now you probably got him uh, curious now. That's probably why he didn't want to stay with you no more. Because uh, you, you're not out your child. Now he's, he's curious about other things that you're not out your child now. Because I don't, at that time, a point I was passable as fuck. And I'm still am today. Like, come on now. Now he's curious. Now you, now you, he's not there by your side, sweetie, because. You didn't got him curious, cause that's one thing you post you were supposed to not do, is make a man be curious about certain goals, whatever you call it, a fantasy to them. Like, don't do that ever. Like, but that's the story time, y'all. And that was really your own family can be a backstabber, and sometimes you just gotta have to deal with it until you get to a point in life where you have to let karma deal with it with them. So that is my story time guys. I'll be back to make more videos. Love you. Bye.